power. Jesus, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Holy Spirit of God, we pray that you will come down here with the host of heaven to take charge. We seal and cover this entire place with the blood of Jesus. We come against every spirit of distraction, every spirit of shame. Whatever spirit the devil wants to bring in here, we command it out. Because your word says we are not giving the spirit of shame, but the spirit of boldness. Father, we say come and take charge. Lord, speak to me. Oh God, every sin that is born in me, Lord, make me spotless. Cleanse my body, soul, spirit, mind, thought, imagination, and let the power of the Holy Spirit come upon me as I proclaim your word. Whatever you have in mind as you are seated in heaven, speak it to me, Father, that I will bring it all to your people. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Uh, today is the second Sunday, if I may say, or I'm not mistaken, August 14, 2022. And the team is recovering to manifest in Congo. Please forgive me, I can speak good English, so I am not a good reader. So if I make mistakes, please help me correct me. So our text is coming from the first uh, Samuel chapter 30, verse 1 to 18. But I'll be reading verse 1 to 18. And it came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south in Ziklag and smattered Ziklag and burned it with fire and has taken the women captive that were therein. They slayed not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So, so David and his men came to the city 
And behold, it was burned with fire, and their wives, and their sons, and their daughters were taken captive. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captive. Uh, ah Ahina, the Jezreelite, and Abigail, the wife of Nabal, the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed, for the people speak of stoning him, because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughter. But David encouraged himself in the Lord, his God. And David said unto Abiata, the priest, Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the, what is that, if, if, uh, if, uh, and what? Okay. And Abata brought Hitler the Ephraim to David. And David inquired at the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this truth? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them, and without and without fail recover all. So David went, he and the six hundred men that were with him, and came to their brook's bosom, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued he and four hundred men, for two hundred above behind, which were to which were to think that they would not go over the brook's bosom. Okay, I'll stop here with the other one later. So they are telling us that uh, the Amalekites invaded the the town is a town called Zikla, and where uh, the men that was with David and David two wife, they burned the whole time of village, and then they took all the people. They did not kill them. They did not hide them, and they took every one of them, and they carried them. And then when David and the men came, they did not see anyone at home. So everybody began to worry. People began to cry for their wife or their children, and then. They, they, they even had some thought in their mind. Because of David, they have taken our wife, they have taken our children. So they got angry with David and they wanted to stone him. They wanted to do all kinds of things to him. And David was confused. He was, he was, he was stressed out. And then in that race, he decided to go and seek the face of God. So the, the, the Bible here is telling us that some of us, when we have problems, instead of us going to God, we take it to our friends, we take it to our family. And the same people that we are going to explain our problem to is the same people that will, that, will laugh, uh, that will laugh us all behind us, that will say all kinds of negative things. So right now, in this place, it's always good to seek the face of God when you are going through problems, when you are going through a, a, a trials, temptation in your home, in your life, in your marriage. Don't depend on friends. Don't depend on family. Seek the face of God. Yeah? So that's what David did. He went and seek the face of God. And he asked God, should I overtake them? And God gave him the go ahead. But some of all, when we pray and then things don't happen, we'll be like, but I go to church. I pay my time. I pay my offering. I fast. I do a lot of stuff. But God can hear my prayer. But what are you doing? Are you standing in the red line with God? Are you standing in the red line with God that when you pray, God can answer your prayer? The Bible says, God do not hear the prayer of a sinner. Some people say their life is short. I need to enjoy myself. I, I, after all, I can go to church. You, you, you see some people, they will go, they get pastor right in and see. They say, okay, today I got pastor, so I'm celebrating. You will see them in the club. How are you living your life that God will hear your prayers? Yeah. Are you still behind people hospital and then you asking God that you want to get married? Are you still going to the club on Saturday night and then Sunday come to church and oh God, I want to get married. Oh God, I need that. And God can hear your prayer. Why did you think that God heard the prayer of David? Because he was submissive, because he was obedient. He was in rest with God. Sometimes we are the cause of our problem. When you're young and then men will come and say, oh, I want to, oh, I say you with all the people husband and then the day you want to get married you can't get married go in a bureau even in the america people are calling prayer pastor prayer mother oh pray for me i want to get married are you standing in the rest standing with god yeah. how are you living this life how are you living this life how are you running this race when the enemy come into your camp how are you standing firm to pray to consult god and ask You feel 
you are beautiful today, but remember, we all will get old. But when you get old, who will be beside you to hold your hands? You feel that you are enjoying the pleasure of this world. The Bible says we are in the world, but we, 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 we are in the world, but we are not a partaker of the things of this world. They will obey God. When the people were, 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 were saying all kinds of things, we want to stone him, we want to do this to him, it was because of you. Yes, I thought, oh God, oh God, I'm serving you, but I can't find my way out. I pay my time. Then we come to the pastor. We can't tell the pastor the actual thing that is going on in our life. Oh, pastor, so I'm going to get, take my husband. I can't understand how are you behaving to your husband in the home. Even the word that I'm pushing is coming to my very self. How are you behaving to your neighbors? How are you behaving to your friends? Like, oh, people don't like me. Do you like yourself before people will like you? How you appear in front of people? This is why when you go somewhere, always observe your environment before you can speak. They are what mafia put us in trouble. Everything that people were doing, what we were saying to David, he did not, oh, you're listening, man. After all, that we all were not here. I'm sending the talk my two where they start. you all leave me. I don't care. I will live my life. Why am I your talk? And you're like, I'm based now. I don't even care. You can't listen to a verse. Hey, hey. When people are talking to you, I don't care. You don't even know the shoe I wear in my room. You don't even know what they may do to me. Seek the face of God. Hey. We are living under the roof of Jesus. How are you living this life? Tomorrow we all will die. Everybody have their book in heaven. What is in your book? Is your book recording good things? Is your book recording bad things? Seek the face of God while you have life today. Some people, God gave them the grace when they are on their dying bed to repent. But you and myself, we don't know if we will have the grace to even talk before we will repent. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop lying to yourself. David did not lie to himself and say, I don't care, my wife there too. So I y'all leave me. He seek the face of God. And after he prayed, the Lord told him, Go and pursue. You will overtake whatever the enemy has taken away from you. You will get it back. And he went. He and the men, they went, they fought. And so some of the men ran away because there was a camera they got on it and they left. But how will the enemy live your life when you are still coming to church and going to the waste diaper? When you are still coming to the church and behind people's husband? When you are still coming to the church and going to the nightclub? When you are still coming to the church and, and doing all kinds of things that is not of God? How will you overtake your enemies? How will you overtake? How will you overtake? How will there be peace in your marriage when they your mother you talk more than even a man? How will you get married when men come and say, oh, I want to marry you, and you are not acting like a good work. You still want to be sneaky, to be talking to that uh, former boyfriend, to be talking to that guapa. <laughs> Those days we used to say guapa. We sleep with other men. Then we say we won't marry men that is old enough to be our godfather. Then we seek the face of God for the things that he wanted. He went to God in prayer. He did not go explaining his problem to everyone. He did not go, uh, go back in Liberia to, 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 to Omer Musa to say what said, what is happening in my life. I cannot understand it. You forget when you are doing those things in the, in the corner that nobody was looking at you. Open the door that your enemy, when 
You can't be asking God, oh God, this year I must get married. Oh God, this year I must have children. Oh God, this year they must be feeling good. What the watch you have me for? Hello? Yeah. You fast it, oh? I was like that before. Mm. I was overtaking my own life. Yeah. And then I would go and pray, oh God, oh God, God, I want travel. God, I want marry. Hey. But I was still sleeping with people last month. Oh, when I feel praying, then I go in the corner. Mm. How are you running this race? Mm. How will you overtake your enemy? Mm. Mm. Stop deceiving yourself. Hallelujah. Stop lying to yourself. Yes. You say you are in the things of God. Mm. Who told you God can use you? Mm -hmm. Who told you that God can open your eyes to see vision? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who told you? Mm. Oh, yeah. See the face of God. Hey. And when he when he saw uh, the, the, the people that that, 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 that he kept the, the, the time and, and took the people captive, he met one of the men because the man was sick. So the big man did not want to carry him and left him behind. And when he was there. He was there three days, three nights, he haven't eaten anything. How a God did they want your enemies to you when you are not being sincere to yourself? You are not even good to yourself. And when he met the enemy, they gave, they, they, they gave him food, they gave him water to drink, and the Bible said his spirit came back in him. He came to himself, no more human being. And David asked him, who are you? Oh, we are the men that went in Zekla and brought the time and took all the people and carried them to our side. And he said, take me to the place where you took our family. Voice of God. <laughs> when every day you take you deep, choking your husband. When a man comes to marry you, you don't want to marry because you don't want to leave that old boyfriend. When it's already married, he's just deceiving you, lying to you. He will come and have you pregnant and leave you and go on the other side. When you pull out the bed, he come and put another one there. <laughs> then you go, God, have mercy, God. Enemy, when they hear your name, they will run, they will hide, they will chase. But how are the enemy chase? When you yourself, you are the enemy in your own life. Yes. How are the enemy go? When you are the enemy in your own life, explaining your problem, the one who keep back your mouth, keep back your life. Not every good thing that coming on your way, you explain that to people. They let the last word to tell that enemy say, Oh, it was my town, it was my village, it was my people. You are told if they were going to be the first to tell that man. Maybe that man not even going to show, uh, sh show him the place. Yes. But he kept quiet to, to, to observe his surrounding. He kept quiet to hear what the enemies are planning so he would know how to attack. Yes. Tomorrow may be too late if you don't come closer to God so that you can be over, able to overtake your enemy. Yes. Get their life to God Why you have why you are breathing? Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. But you have to be in good standing with God. God do not hear the prayer of a sinner. That's why he said, you can't tell me he lied. Because he's not a God that can lie. Like us, what can lie? Like what my sister said, some of all lie before who come to America. Every day I can, I was saying my restitution said, I forget, I'll tell the pastor about that one. Some of all lie, we don't even lie in America, we don't care. But remember, on the day of judgment, it will be recorded in the book of life. Until you repent and confess and say your restitution. Amen. God will forgive you. His blood will cleanse you where as snow. Amen. 
Be good to people. Sometimes when people come around you, they want to tell you something about your life, about your future, about your destiny. But you don't have time. You always busy doing your own thing. You always busy going to the club. You always busy doing work. You don't even have time to take a time out to be with God. We are doing double, double, triple, triple. We don't have time to seek the face of God. When we come to church and we spend one hour, ten minutes, you start looking at your time. In fact, you start going on Facebook to see what is happening there. David was focused. He wanted to get information where the people was. He was not in a hurry. This is why he set the man down, gave the man food, gave him water. The man came to his cell food. Then he started to ask the man. How are you confronting your enemy? Oh God, do I do that for me? God, do that for me. You pray one day, then you forget. Tomorrow you don't pray. How will the enemies go? When God was sending Satan, the one, you know, a boy gave you the spirit of God sending you will not know. When God was sending Satan down, I remember that he did not take the power from Satan. So Satan got power. Whoever that said the devil don't have power, they lie. The devil have power. God ain't tell you no way in the Bible that he took the power from, 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 from the devil. Why you think Satan went to God and said, get, uh, uh, let, me, let, me, let me go and try to, and God told him, say, you can go and try to, but do not take his life away. Where he got the power from? If God took the power from him. So the devil have power, and sometimes God gave the devil chance to torment your life so that you can run back to him. Yeah. But some of us don't have the time to go back to God. And we live inside, we die with frustration. Some of us will let divorce to come our way and we take it. Because we don't have time to pray. We don't have time to confront our enemies. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. The enemies are working over time. They hear myself. They were not in a hurry. Are you feeding your enemy today? You have to feed them. They will come to you as a work in sheep clothing. Some of them will pretend to be friends. Some of them will pretend to be family. But when they come, do not just open up and start explaining your problem to everyone. Let's think of what they call you for. Let's think of what they came to your house for before you can start talking about your life story to them. Not everybody you call friend is a friend. Not everybody you call family is a family. Listen to what they have to say. Before but uh, the other thing happened in my life. Oh my God, oh my, my husband. I even I'm one like that. Then a friend will say, everybody is okay. You even know what are the twists in that world? We are the fool. You not see them. You even know what are the happy because some of them are not married, so they will not give you good counsel. Some of them are not married, so they will tell you, say, baby, I can't take it. Move from in that marriage. Move from in that relationship. But I can't take it. Women day, day. Surrender to God. And He will show you the way how to overtake your enemy. Do not be in a hurry to leave the presence of God. When we go to party, we can't be in a hurry. Like for me, when I go to party, I ain't even want for the party. My, my husband tell me, say, you get let go. I say, hey, wait. Let me sit down small. But when we come to God, we're in a hurry two hours and we are tired. We won't go home. I say, I call her, hey. And I pray every day for God to have mercy. Hey. How will you seek the face of God when you are in a hurry? How will God get you to go ahead to say, go and overtake? Go and take everything that the enemy has taken away from you. Man explain everything to David. David and he meant when they say, Please, when you go, don't don't tell anybody that I the one who told you about it. He said, Oh no, I will not do it. I will not do it. He said, Because if you tell him, he will come and kill me. He said, Oh no, I will not do it. I will not do it. But some of us, eh, I said, You can you can lie. If you tell a lie, let go. Eh, eh, now why you don't eh, matter? Eh, matter can you tell me? Go ask Mata. Then when they can't have Mata, Mata too will say a lie because she's scared. Because you heard it and she came, she told you, and you now your market said that you're going to. So the next time when people are playing evil against you, how will my talk can't tell you? Wash your tongue, wash your mouth. Not everything you hear, you explain. Sometimes when you hear it, stand in your stomach. Go out to go out in prayer. Go out to go out in prayer. Seek the face of God. Ask God for wisdom. Ask Him for understanding to overtake your enemy. You need to stay in the 
in God's presence. Amen. You need to stay firm. Hold on to God. Hold on to Him. Say, God, I will not let you go until you change my story. Until you bless me. Take away every appetite that is not of you in me. God, every spirit that is not of you, that is overtaking my spiritual life, take it away and let me be filled to overtake, to overtake, to withdraw whatever the enemies have taken away from me. Do not be in a hurry. David was not in a hurry. And the Bible said when David went, he got his wife and everybody got their family members. Some of all we are from a background where we got beautiful women and some of them they are 50, 40, they can't get married. But they are not going to seek the face of God. Oh, the red time will come. The red man will come at the red time. The men leave us with the children and we, we labor so hard, we take care of them. Who told you you are not beautiful? You are beautiful to have children, but you are not beautiful to be your wife. Seek the face of God. Leave all the boyfriend. Leave all the girlfriend. Ask God. God, what do you have for me? God, what is my destination? God, what the enemies have taken away from me? Restore it. Let me overtake. They have taken my joy. in a hurry. David was never in a hurry. He was never in a hurry. He listened to that, uh, to, 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 to one of his enemies. And David overtook the Lord said, go. How will you even hear the voice of God when you don't even read your Bible? You are with them. Open the Bible. The word of God is our weapon. I see people that come into church, they don't even bring Bible, they bring a phone. Yes. My son, I can do I, that. God speaking to me, so He say everything to every one of us. Yes. How are we taking this God business? Are we taking it to be joke? Are we taking it as Sunday morning? We get up, wear our best dress, and come to church, and everything the pastor is preaching is not entering our mind. We can't even remember the test, neither the team. Oh. And then Monday morning we get up. Oh, God okay, carry me safe, they will finish. Oh. Oh. How will you overtake your enemy? Yes. How will you overtake your enemy? Oh. When, you, when you are not coming to God, when you are not being sincere, when your heart is not open. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. I was doing the same before. But today, grace has formed me. Hallelujah. Today, God has transformed my life. Hallelujah. You can do the same. Nobody is smart to serve God. God can use anybody. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus today. Tomorrow may be too late. Come to God and ask Him, God, what is happening in my life? What is happening in my family? That everything I want I cannot see the money. Oh, my business is in Liberia. I cannot see no understanding. I'm just working here. I'm tired. When I call the people that I send my goods to in Liberia, they can say no business, but they are eating my money. Because your enemy have encamped your destiny. Because the enemy have brought your future down to ashes. Go to God in prayer. Seek the face of God. Let him 
gave you direction. Let him give you understanding that you will go after your enemy and overtake. And my prayer today is that whatever the devil has taken away from you, may God give it back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever the devil wants to play with your health, may God restore your health in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever the enemy has set you in their clothing and say you will not get married, men will come and use you and go. Today I break that Christ.
they just speak you want it to me. You know they got some people that when they check your life, especially with that from the native background, when they check your life and your life in the future will be fruitful, it will be you, you have a bright future, they change your destiny to another person's destiny. At the end of the day, you become useless in life. One of my uncle died like that years ago when I was a baby, little child. The man went to you to L U many times. He graduated everything, master, PhD. But whenever he get job, he go to work. As soon as he get his pay, he will drink it all, get drunk, and it will fire him. He was doing it to the extent that the frustration took over his life. He went back to the village and he went into the bush, the wayside, and he took the the the, the, the how they call that thing, what they call the animal with the gun, and he fired himself in his mouth and he died. Because why the devil and came his destiny. The devil cut on his life and he did not go out to seek the face of God. He did not go out to ask God what is happening. May God help us in Jesus' name. Let's rise up. Hallelujah. I want us to pray or two prayer point and say, God, everywhere the devil has encamped my destiny, everywhere they have encamped my life, the life of my family, God, set me loose, set me free. Open your mouth and say that prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord, I come before you, oh God, like David, I came in peace and harmony. Everywhere the devil, oh God, has kept up my life, they have kept up my destiny, they have kept up the destiny of my children, my health, In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, set us loose. Lord, set us loose from every punish, from every captivity. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, deliver us, O oh God, everywhere the enemies have gathered against my life, against the life of my children. Lord, set me free. Lord, set me loose. In the name of Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, I come to you tonight, O oh God. Lord, deliver my household. Lord, deliver my family. us with his blood, that he should have us under his shadow of his wing, that no weapon formed against our life, our future, our children shall prosper. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, seal me in your blood. Lord, cover my household. Lord, protect us from the place of the enemy. Lord, destroy every power of darkness, every prince and party and power. Oh God, working over time against my life, against my household, against my children's destiny. Let it be powerless. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, cover us in your blood, O God. Lord, grant on my tongue that I should know where to talk. Lord, grant on my tongue. I should know who to talk to. Lord, grant on my tongue. I cannot go explaining my problem to everyone, but I should seek your face. Like the way David seek your face. And at the end of the day, he overtook everything that the devil hold in custody for him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you, O God. In Jesus' name. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, O oh God, as you have come today, O oh God, to proclaim your word in our heart. Father, may we not just be the hero, but we should be the doer, O oh God. Father, we should live according to what you have spoken to us today, O oh God. Father, help us, O oh Lord. Help us to overtake whatever the enemy have taken away from us. Father, cover us in your blood. We cancel and destroy every physical and spiritual attack over our life in the remaining month of 2022. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God, for your blessing that you are above to bring in our life, at our job, at our marriage, at our home, our family. Thank you, O oh God. In Jesus' name we have prayed.
they say, you know what? Before our wives come in, or our daughters and we uh, yeah. sisters, children, let us prepare them. And today, we told them that y'all never just, <laughs> you people are all here, but when we ready for things, yeah. we do it. Yeah. We don't waste time. No time. Says Pamela. Ah, yeah. I think we're going to ask Pastor Josh to give you the puppet one more time. Because today, you speak in every one of us here live. There are things that we do and we don't know. And even we know, we just play the later to so end with live. And yet today again, our own sister, she just nailed in. Thank you and thank you. My name is Seba Mwenkwe. Mm -hmm, okay, yeah. uh, I have a testimony. June, I went to the hospital and I did a test. And the test result came that I have cancer. I saw go for upper vision. And then when they told me, my, when my daughter told me, I refused it right then. I told them, I told them, I said, I refuse upper vision, I refuse, I refuse surgery. And then they told me that the surgery would take place August 10. So I went home, I put it into prayer, and I told my husband about it, I put it into prayer. And then during the retreat, I came to God with that testimony. I didn't tell anybody about what the daughter told me in June after my birthday. And then I came for the retreat and I put it before God. I told God, I said, God, the devil is a liar. The cancer will melt. Whatsoever it's coming for, I send it back by fire by tunnel. So we had a retreat. After the retreat, the retreat we dance here. And through that dancing, I could feel me releasing from that cancer. And then the last day of the retreat, they gave her a naughty oil and I rub my spare with the naughty oil. I drink some the naughty oil. Then this the one that said which is um, August there, that Sunday I came here. I went to Pastor, I told him, Pastor George, he and says I want to pray for me for almost than 30 minutes. And then Pastor George told me that when you go, they should do the test over. I said, Pastor George. Don't even worry because if I go and they did a test over, I will, I, they will not give me that surgery because I cancel surgery out of my life. Enough is enough. It the way it's a liar. So when I went that, uh, that August there, they were preparing me for the operation, putting 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 the gun on me for them to go. I told them I said no. I'm not going for this surgery until you can do the test over. If you can't do the test over, I'm not going to do that surgery. So my daughter told me that she a medical doctor, she know her job and she did this thing and she saw the cancer that I said, well, it had changed because God had turned it around, God had mail that cancer for all of my sisters. So you got to do it over. So I bound G and then they did the test over. They told me, so, okay, after three days, we'll show you, we'll send the results so you can't do the operation or the, or the surgery. I said, okay. And then after three days, my doctor called me and told me, so, but your results came different. He said, I'm so confused. They play at it because I did the test myself. I saw what I saw there. And then with me doing the test over for it, I said, I told you that God had Heal me. I told you that God has healed me. We have we, we have the, 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 the our prayer and then God has healed me. So the test came back, the result came back. Okay, I don't have cancer, I cancer free, I don't have cancer, and the cancer went back to the center by fire by tunnel in Jesus' mighty name. That's my testimony. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, the grand celebration invitation is what you got in your your uh, program if you have it if you if you know that uh, you will invite somebody you can take it we are not sure that is a lot of big time in events I think we don't have a lot of events and some of you people invite you to different church events and you go there so you get some small event, just one in a year, I think we should make it a priority. It, there's a give and take, the way you go to people event, if you get one in a year like this, 
it's good to also invite people to come. Amen? Amen. So we would like to encourage those who can to invite people to the celebration. This year's celebration, we are attaching a seminar, a financial seminar to it. And uh, this financial seminar, we, there are some people from Virginia that are coming to teach us on church finances and investment. And we are inviting almost all of the churches in the, in the state. I've been, I've been sending text and information from downstairs. So on this seminar day, many people are going to be here. And you don't want for people to come here and tap into this without you. Amen. Amen. But I can tell you that those who will come over here and take advantage of what will be presented during this seminar, their financial life will never be the same. Amen. 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 Pastor Stevie and I attended it, and we know where we are going. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it is up to you if you want to keep on working through our way. You will never have time for yourself. Don't come to this seminar. But if you want to reach to the point where you want your money to be working for you, then you better find a way and come over to this. We are tired doing extra work in the country, and it's time now to, to work smart and save more life. Amen. Amen. Many of us don't even have time to go to Liberia to even visit our family. When you're rushing, you come. When you go, you're rushing to come back because of job. But there are ways that are hidden in this country we don't know. And there are people who God has chosen to expose the secret to us. And I have I've never had financial seminar here before. But we went to this place. Sister, sister, where is Younger? Younger, you attended it. What, what can you say? <laughs> yeah, talk, because she was in. Yes. What can you say about a seminar? I bring in the people that have seen people. Tell us something because you went there. First of all, okay. even though you are not to tell the people because we yeah. sign people, yeah. but tell us what you think. I will encourage all of us to be part of that seminar because it's a blessing that God revealed to us that the pastor and I, along with the other pastor, were all part of it. And it's something that will empower us for us to be successful and to release us from the hard work that we are doing and for us to be able to help our family by whom and here. Amen. So let us take it serious. It is true. Amen. And I want us, for all of us, to be a part of it. Amen. 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 I just remember that she was there.